What's going on guys, Ben here, and today we are in X Defiant, and this is now free, this is the full game, this is actually out on Ubisoft Connect, you can, you can get this right now, and we're going to check it out, is this the COD killer? Oh, I'm on fire, no, 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 no. Literally have wall hacks. Oh no! Doesn't matter though. My my gun my gun's not good there. Can we do all hacks with uh, with assault rifle? Try that maybe. Is this the cod killer? Is this uh, what people have been waiting for? We're gonna have a look. We're doing some rounds of domination. So but yeah, Intel suit is what a lot of people are using. I've trying it out for the first time on my one now on this game Scanning so basically just does a little gives you wall hacks I, I i can't imagine this doesn't get nerfed like it's gotta be it's gotta be nerfed there's another one um which i tried which was uh is echelon oh i just don't have the movement they're just bouncing around everywhere oh i'm just used to like tarkov and like hardcore shooters where you don't you don't like they were bouncing around like this all over the place i mean i was just messing around there but um going for zone b capture zone a is at risk okay for them but yeah there was one i think it was echelon or someone or maybe i'm echelon now we'll have a look they uh they can put up a shield like a mag shield and you can actually shoot through it i thought it was going to be like a titan shield and um uh in Destiny 2, where like, yeah, you can hide behind it, but you gotta peek out from behind it. No, you can straight up shoot through that. A long shot. Oh, they're fancy in it. I'm detecting hostiles on zone C. Yeah, I'm gonna die here. Stay alive. The health will regen over time. Revealing enemies. Friendly's going for zone B. Heads okay, up. Okay, I'm we're here. So no goggles. No. <laughs> right. Let's change the faction. So, uh, dead dead sec has the mag barrier, which is insane. Echelon has the intel suit or or a ghillie suit. Zone secured. Cleaners have a drone and a firebomb, and the Libertar were like uh, the healers kind of thing. So you can kind of like throw, like put a healing thing down, I think. Not too sure. This one boosts health regen. This one heals in the in the area. I didn't want to change my weapon, actually. But yeah, like that. That's, that's what that is. Healing, healing area. Let's have a look. Also, it will tell me who needs heals as well, so I can... That in... What, I healed him? I healed them, at least. Let's, uh... Let's, let's go back. Let's do the Marksman. I was trying the Marksman on a round before, and I was quite liking it. It's quite powerful. Okay. Ooh. It would be better with a scope but you've got to basically to unlock attachments with this you've got to use it get xp these sonar goggles i'm just being constantly pinged i'm guessing the, the goggles are part of the intel suit then i'm guessing let's do dead sec mag barrier because this one is pretty cool i, I feel like this will get nerfed as well because we I mean, just Put a thing here. Oh. Oh, I didn't change in time, I guess. <laughs> no, I didn't change in time. So the healing one. Or I didn't confirm it, maybe. Sit here and... We're trying to take C. Don't compromise. Yeah. Oh... The, the Far Cry ones, they have uh, fire rounds. Oh, 
yeah marksman rifle is a lot nicer because you can just two tap basically definitely feel like this will get nerfed Ooh, we got someone sniping Help if I help if I actually hit my shots. Oh, there we go. Is like a is that like a player of the game? Okay, nice. So I think when there's no upfront cost here, there is some really cool stuff here. And I think you can like um you can send like a thumbs up to someone as well commend almost yes yeah, so what what i can see you can buy some starter packs to give you a bit of a head start with some of the stuff or some skins and things like that you can also buy some coins to unlock stuff as well and obviously there's the battle pass where which we can see here battle pass where you can then get some skins get some xp boosters and things like that from what i've seen weapon leveling is fairly slow I think that is kind of incentivized, like, so that you're trying to get the weapon XP boosters. This is something that I think Call of Duty's created a little bit, although one thing I will give Call of Duty credit for, it's Battle Pass is slow, because Call of Duty Battle Pass is based on time, not on XP, so you can, it's more just time spent in game than it is um, whether you do well or not. Weapon XP actually comes really quickly, I find. Um, like leveling in Call of Duty is not actually a problem. It's the battle pass that's because it's not based on score. It's based on time. So it doesn't really matter how well you do. Whereas this one, this battle pass does seem to be based on, on XP we're getting, I believe. Maybe, maybe not. But yeah, let's jump into another one. It's a Far Cry 6 map. We're doing domination again. We're just in a domination playlist. And from what I'd say so far, Maps have been nice. Maps have been feeling really good. I'll try the Intel suit. Um, you can see kind of the level progress we've made. Um, I haven't tried Sniper yet. I'd say this is this is fun. And unlike some other games, I don't have to kind of bend and twist my friend's arms to be like, come on, buy it. Like, get it, get it, get it. It's, uh, it's free. So that is a huge bonus. Um, I feel like the hit registration and stuff is a lot better. Like Which we'd expect, I guess, but <laughs> look at his flame drones. Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's standing behind the... Standing behind the uh, the mag shields. I think there's going to be definitely metas that are going to be established here. Which happens in most games. It's not like something that's unique uh, or a problem. Um, unique to uh, X Defiant. force utilized. We'll take that, Friendly that free kill. Zone a. Revealing enemies. Yeah, like, this is like borderline wall hacks. When you're, like, close. When you're in a building, you see it a lot more because you see their red outlines. You see that? Oh, my God. Just... about can we climb we can't climb or clamber or anything this person i've just killed them again is that afk oh but i got done by the <laughs> by the incinerator drone ah oh. those things you can like run up and stuff like that to add verticality it's not like you're going to be clambering up and down and around on different things and stuff like that but yeah i'm I don't know if it's just it's just me at the moment. I am so out of touch with these fast shooters at the moment. I've been playing a lot more slower slower games or like Tarkov and stuff like that where it's a bit more methodical normally. I've been trying to play a bit of Call of Duty and this now recently as well. And I'm just I'm just uh not not doing well. This guy is doing the shotgun. I have wall hacks and I still couldn't do it. I still couldn't do it. Um, maybe I just need something a bit more. Should we try the LMG? Let's see what, <laughs> see what the LMG is like. Can't wait to see the recall on this. 
I'm detecting hostiles on zone C. I mean, that seemed quite nice. Friendly's going for zone B. Okay, it seems quite nice. Do I have a mine? Ah! I will, I will take the LMG. <laughs> I mean, LMGs may be more my thing. We captured it though. Ooh. Okay. Oh damn. Let's get A. Let's get this. Like a little mine we'll put down. There we go. Get our intel back. That's quite nice that you can choose choose your loadouts, but then you can change your uh, your actual like people as well. That's a little bit like Battlefield in that regard that you've got your specialists and your loadout separate. Like it's not like oh Far Cry people have to use like shotguns and stuff like that. It's more the perks that they get with it. We go. We've got him again. Oh, this the shotgun person. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the dead set with the LMG. Yeah. So I'm thinking we can put a put a barrier up and just shoot for the barrier. And I think, as far as I'm aware, the grenades can go through the barrier. Barrier deployed. Yeah, I can just sit here and just shoot. Oh, shotgun's working quite nice there, although my mind got him. Happy with that. Personally, is this a game I will put hundreds of hours into? Probably not, because it's... As you can see, I'm just not good at these games and... Not anymore, anyway. And it's not really my. Oh, he's got a flamethrower. We got I think of these Call of Duty and stuff as well. Like I, I like dipping into them, but I'll never like main them. Like just they're nice little stress relievers at times and some kills of some fun, especially if you're playing with friends and stuff like that. We can try sniper. I don't know if this map's good for that. We can have a little look. Tents coming up. Things are looking good. C is under enemy attack. We're winning though, we're doing okay. Wonder if I can get a bit of bit of height. Bit of height over here. I and mean, we'll just try and get C. We might be able to get a win. Should have enough. I don't think they can come back now. Because I think they have to take all three for our score to stop going up. Ooh. Put that bubble up just as I Is that the other what is that? I don't even know what half of these uh, abilities are. <laughs> like, maybe you can change them. Not too sure. But yeah, this is X Fight. Like, if if you're looking for, like, maybe you don't have Call of Duty, maybe you're fed up with Call of Duty, and you want a round-based kind of military shooter with those kind of elements in it and stuff like that. This is, this is it. This is uh. Oops. This is where um, where it is, I think, at the moment. We'll have to see where it goes from there. Remember, this isn't on Steam. They've launched this just on Ubisoft Connect. I think it's on it's on consoles as well, obviously. The, there is input-based matchmaking and cross-play matchmaking. You can turn either of those on or off. So if you just want to be playing console only, on controller only, that is your, your option to do that. If you just want to be playing PC against other keyboard and mouse players, that's absolutely what you're able to do as well. Um, so I really like like the settings and everything. There's a load of different options here and stuff like that. We're, we're going to leave the lobby. That's the other thing. It, it's it's quite quick with that. Just throwing you back in. Just to give you a, like a little overview. We've got the escort, which is basically like Overwatch. Push the objective and yeah, basically take turns attacking and defending it. And the winner is the one who like basically gets it furthest. Um, zone control basically is the capture zones, but 
um, a little bit more um, all over the place kind of thing. And then domination is what we were just playing, where you've got the three zones and you've just got to hold them all and count up to 750. And then occupy is a single one, like a, a bit like King of the Hill, and it will basically move around each time. So it basically forces you around the different map. And then hot shot is basically kill confirmed. Um, if you're familiar with that, basically you pick up a token when you kill them, and those tokens are what you um, what you get your score from. So that's uh, that's basically how that works. No rank to the moment. There is a trial run of rank that you can do, and practice zone isn't available yet. Um, but you can kind of see what ranked will be like for those people that want that competitive side of things. And then obviously here we've got challenges. We've got obviously the XP. So in those two, I've, I've done four matches in total. Two recorded, two beforehand. We've got 27,000 uh, XP so far. You're going to have to play um, either do way better than I've been doing, which probably isn't hard, or play a lot more matches. That's fine. That's your active challenge. And it makes it seem like when there's multiple ma major challenges, you might have to just be picking one challenge that you're dumping your XP into. We'll have to see about that. You can unlock now. You can spend a thousand and get the faction. Um, or you can spend 2,500 now. We go to spend a thousand. We see what that looks like. It's basically 799 for that faction. 500 uh, coins is 399. 1,000 is 799. And then you start getting the normal bonuses that they do with your 2,000, your 5,000, your 12,000 and, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so that's 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 an option if people want to do that. There are obviously base challenges just for getting damage. And, and like I said, I like, as someone who like likes achieving these things, likes achievements and trophies and all that kind of stuff, that's quite nice being able to see like, oh, you've done 10 kills. Like that's gone, it shows up on the right hand side. Like your progress on those kind of things. I like that. That's really good. I don't think... Uh, what's your reward? You just get a different skin. You get a skin for it, basically, it seems. Um, so that's cool. You've got the devices as well and things like that and faction characters of... How are you getting that as well? So you get 50 intel suit spot assists and and uh, block damage with the mag barrier and stuff like that. So cool to see that, that kind of option there. And then you, obviously you've got your dailies as well. Heal 1,000 damage to allies. We've got the marksman kills and... Um, kills 10 enemies suffering from status conditions so you've got that there as well so quite cool in that regard there's no weekly challenge or anything at the moment in terms of the battle pass the premium battle pass um i thought it was quite short like i mean it came out on the 21st so it was about 42 days i don't know if that's always going to be the case but it's about a month and a half which i don't know in the in the i really prefer longer battle passes at the moment where they give you like 60 90 days just because it gives you a bit more time in a world full with battle passes. Um, but maybe that's just me. Um, obviously, the quicker they can get them out, the quicker they can charge you a new one. So there's that. Premium battle pass is 700 for the normal or 1200 for the battle pass and tier skips. Again, as a reminder, 700 is nicely priced between. I hate it when games do this, where, where Destiny does this with a silver as well. Um, Call of Duty does this as well with like you can buy 200 coins but tier skips or 150 coins and you know they're, they're banking on you leaving change in the game so that you'll be inclined to buy more so if you want the, the 700 or the 1200 you can't just buy that you have to buy like why can't you just buy that I mean I know why but that that's that is just monetization in gaming Ubisoft obviously I know white knight with this we've seen Assassin's Creed Shadows and and the upcoming Star Wars Outlaws game with their pre-order and monetization. This is a wider kind of rant on Ubisoft, but yeah, basically you're going to be spending eight quid to get the uh, to get the battle pass normally, or sixteen quid if you're getting the extra battle pass. Or presumably you could do the eight and the twelve, but then you're actually shortchanging yourself there. If you if you if you're spending that much, you might as well just get the eight. and that's how it works. That's the, that's the methodology. That's the reasoning, and that is why. They are priced like that so yeah normal normal tactics there with monetization in games at the moment with that kind of thing in terms of rewards i don't think i think it's all just boosters and skins and cards i don't think there's any on the looks of it doesn't seem it only goes up to 50 as well so it's not a super long one 
Uh, it's not like a hundred tiers or anything. It's just skins, which is good at least. It's not a um. And you can earn some coins as well. How many? If you can, you earn enough to buy it because I I don't mind it when you can earn the currency back. You get a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. 500 600 okay so you can you can earn it you could earn it back if you played if you bought this and you're going to play it and you're you're happy with that when you when you go to buy it you buy the 700 coins or, or the thousand coins spend the 700 coins you will get those 700 back if you complete it so that is good at least that you for those that earn it you potentially only need to buy it once and then every season you can just you can just buy the 700 so it's that kind of like a one-time purchase, which is good. So that's that's something at least. Um, I'm not a fan of the battle passes where you can't earn within it, um, which is a shame. That would be good if they did that um, in, in some other games. But yeah, like I said, we've got the different different options here and stuff. You can customize all your loadouts and things. In terms of loadouts, obviously you've got the guns and the different guns themselves. The guns are unlocked via challenges or the battle pass. So the MDR is in the battle pass. And presumably will be a challenge later maybe and then these are all unlocked by challenges oh yeah they're not skins they're those challenges are to unlock the guns yeah yeah, yeah. um and in terms of the guns themselves you can then as you level them up you'll be able to then put on new barrels new scopes new rails so the more you use a gun the better it is uh, like, like i said i think this is something i'll i'll dip into and out of and um, play a little bit it's, it's for, for me i'm probably not going to be spending money in this game because it's not it's not something i'm going to play a lot um not because it's bad but just because I, I don't play these types of shooters that much anymore but if you're looking for maybe you're missing call of duty but you you don't want to be paying 70 dollars every september october for the next installment that comes with a five hour campaign half-assed the zombies mode and really good multi like, like call of duty modern warfare 3 the multiplayer the map support the season passes i can't fault that at all but i can see why some people think uh but that's just not not feasible like that's just you know it's just so much so yeah x divine is an option there and i think i think it plays really well i think i think that's the most important thing the gameplay feels nice in my opinion maybe there's maybe there's other people that will disagree the big thing with this is that there's no skill-based matchmaking. So you will have some matches where you're getting stomped on. Though you'll have some matches where people are really, really, really good, similar level, or you're just stomping on other people. And it's just going to be a whole mix. And that lobby is going to be mixed. There'll be some people really good on one team. And there's no excuse. If, if, if you're looking at this and you think, oh, I quite like the look of this. There's no excuse not to try it. Ubisoft Connect um, on the PC. You can download it there for free. On consoles, you can just download it and, and play it on those, obviously, as well. And you can try it out and see how you find it. It might be right up your street. might be the best thing since sliced bread for you. might be absolute horrible experience for you and you don't like it. I can't make that decision for you, obviously. But, yeah. From the two games uh, I've played with you right now and the two I've played before. And, obviously, I've done some over the playtests before and stuff like that. Vast improvement. Plays much, much better. Much happier with that as well. And, Yeah. Let me know what you guys think. How do you how do you guys find it? Have you tried it out? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. And with that, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.